Hi, this is Kenny from Maxon Power. Today we're going to talk about the rack mounted batteries. I take a 5 kWh model as an example here. The rack mounted batteries was originally designed for the telecom communications. The 90 inch rack mounted batteries can be placed in the cabinet like other storage devices, facilitating the installations and the safe space. Therefore, we usually call it rack mounted. The height occupied by the equipment in the 90 inch rack is expressed in a special unit. One U is equal to 44.45 mm. So this battery right now is 133 mm. We also can call it 3U height size. In the communication based stations, it's basically a 48 volt system. So 48 volt lithium ion phosphate batteries is mostly used. The lithium battery cycle life, high temperature characteristic, the charge and discharge performance, and its energy density as well. So a 48 volt lithium ion phosphate battery as a power supply for the telecom communication is a reliable energy storage power supply guarantee. The applications of the lithium ion phosphate batteries for the telecom communication business are as below. The first one, outdoor space station. The second one, space stations without air conditioning such as the village links. The third one, space critical indoor metro radio station. The fourth one, DC distributed power station. The fifth one, the solar based stations in areas with or without four street types of the mass electricity. The sixth one, wireless LAN locations for the DC power project, etc. However, not only the communication based stations or UPS applications will mostly use the rack mounted batteries. In recent years, the 48 volt rack mounted batteries also became one of the popular models for the solar energy system. We can find that if it's for a solar household energy system, one to three batteries can be mounted on the wall or placed on the ground. If it's multi battery pack in parallel connection, though they will be placed in a 90 inch rack or cabinet, it's still mostly used for the solar industry or the commercial because the battery power requirements is relatively large. For the load of the public facility, such as the 100 kWh, etc. Popular models of the rack mounted batteries is 5 kWh and 10 kWh, namely 48 volt 100 ampere and 48 volt 200 ampere. In order to adapt the working voltage range of some inverter, the market also will use 15 1.2 volt batteries, namely 16S, representing 16 PC cells in series, which is also used for the 48 volt system. Now let's look at the 5 kWh rack mounted battery model here. What are the main structures? Let's see the front panel. The first one is the positive and the negative terminals. Two positive and the two negative terminals are always designed for rack mounted batteries because it's more convenient for the parallel connection and can be shunted. If it's multiple battery pack in parallel connection, the working current is relatively large. So two terminals can share more current. Of course, if the bus bus is used in the system, for sure you can use one terminal only for the connection. However, as you can see, the battery has an air switch here. The air switch represents the protection of the external circuit. If the air switch is closed, it means the battery cannot be discharged externally, and the external power supply cannot charge the battery normally. So, if the terminal is wiring completely and the battery is power on, please note to turn on the air switch so that the battery can work. As for display parts, there are six LED lights, four of which represent the power of SOC. The battery SOC, full name is state of charge, is used to reflect the rhythmic capacity of the batteries, which is defined as a radius of the rhythmic capacity to the battery capacity. Each LED represents 25% SOC. The wrong lights is the status displayed during the normal operation. If the BNS has the alarm and protection status, the red alarm lights will be on. The BNS alarm of protection is light overcharge, over discharge, over current, etc. As for a 5 communication port, mainly has two functions. One is the battery itself has the computer-based communications. So the communication port can be connected to the computer to run the upper software to monitor each data of the batteries, including the view of the history record. Another function is 
In the solar energy system, the battery and inverter is always working in a lithium communication mode. So the battery communication port and the inverter communication port is always connected so that the battery BNS data can be transmitted to the inverter for accurate charge and discharge. For sure, the basic is the battery communication protocol and the inverter communication protocol is compatible. ADS is a disk switch, which is to set the address of the battery and identify the identity of the battery in slave and the master is generally binary. If the battery is communicated with the inverter or the multi-battery pack in communication parallel, the disk switch is always used. In the front panels, there may be other functions like the LCD display or the negative grounding terminals, which can be also customized according to the requirements. Now let's look at the battery to see how the internal structure is distributed. It consists of 16 pieces, 3.2 volt, 100 ampere prismatic cells, bracket of each cell, connecting pieces between the cells, the BNS and its bracket, the soft start box, the signal sampling lights, and the power lights of the positive and the negative of the batteries. Let's mainly talk about the soft start function here. In a pure battery mode, if the solar inverter needs to be cold started, the battery needs to have a large current output capability in an instant. Conventional BNS will cause the overcurrent or soft circuit protection, resulting in failure to start normally. The soft start function combines the current value at the moment of the startup and the startup time through the circuit design and the software design so as to achieve the effect of the successful cold starting without causing battery protection. If the rack mounted batteries is used for the solar system and used together work with the inverter, the soft start functions will be always designed, but it's not every supplier did because the original BNS of the rack mounted battery for the telecom communications can be without these functions. The soft start functions has two forms. One is, as you can see, is independent soft start box installed outside the BNS. Another is in the PCB of the BNS. The resistors of the pre-charged circuits are embedded. However, the advantage of the independent soft start box is that it has a better continuous endurance and a heat dissipation for the large current. The cell holder is made by the flame retardant ABS materials, which can achieve the effect of insulating cells while freezing. The BNS also has an independent space. The internal structure is clean, stable, and reliable. Regarding connections between the cells, multi-layer composite copper connection strip is used, which is made by the diffusion welding of the multi-layer copper floor with the low impedance, strong current conductivity, good flexibility and the anti-vibration. The power cable like the positive and the negative. Using the soft silicone wires, UL certified, high flexibility and can withstand the temperature of 200 degree. The DIY assembly video of this rack multi battery also can be seen in our YouTube channel, which is convenient to learn more. This is for the today sharing. See you next time. Bye.